You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, let's go over to the Marxist NBA of China and revisit LeBron James's Big Balls Dance. Now, if you guys remember, this was about a week ago. LeBron James hit a bit shot and then he did the Sam Cassell Bit Balls Dance. He was fined $15,000 by the NBA for doing that. And now, guys, the great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who LeBron is trying to chase on the all time scoring list, has come out and he has absolutely destroyed LeBron James for that dance. Now, it's been going on uh, throughout the NBA for many, many years, but uh, LeBron seems to be in the spotlight a whole lot lately, whether it's the virus, whether it's this or getting fans kicked out of NBA games. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar weighed in and he took a shot at LeBron James and his quote unquote goat status, even though we know LeBron James is not the goat. So let's go ahead. Let's dive into this. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar rips LeBron James over a childish celebration. Goats don't dance. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was no fan of LeBron James's flamboyant celebration last week when the NBA superstar helped the Los Angeles Lakers beat the Indiana Pacers. It was one of James's last games before he was put into the NBA's health and safety protocols because of a positive coronavirus test. James would later have subsequent negative tests that allowed him to return to the team. When James hit the shot against the Pacers, he imitated Sam Cassell's bit balls dance. Abdul-Jabbar said someone like James shouldn't be doing those kind of celebrations. And LeBron got fined for that. And let's watch this clip here of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar ripping LeBron James for this dance. Here we go. In other news... LeBron James faced a double whammy this past couple of weeks with his first ever suspension after his elbow clipped Detroit's Piston Center, Isaiah Stewart. Stewart's attempted retaliation cost him a two-game suspension. Then last week, LeBron was fined $15,000 for doing a big ball stance after the Lakers win over the Pistons. The NBA has been fining players between $15,000 and $25,000 for doing this dance since the 2010-2011 season. For me, winning is enough. Why do you need to do a stupid childish dance and disrespect the other team on the court? It doesn't make sense. Goats don't dance. F <laughs> that is so funny right there. Uh, this segment here, he talked about some other things too. And one of them was about in his cancer freedom. We could probably make another video on that. But uh, what do you guys think of... Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar taking a shot at LaChina James saying that goats don't dance. And I believe he's acknowledging that LeBron James is not the goat. And I believe that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar also believes that LeBron James hasn't even surpassed him. Now, we know that LeBron is on at least trying to surpass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar when it comes to uh, the all time scoring list. I believe he's something like 3000 points away. The problem is LeBron is missing a lot of games, uh, mainly because of uh, injuries this season, and he's getting older. Do you guys think he'll actually end up passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? I'm pretty sure Kareem Abdul-Jabbar does not want LeBron James to pass him up. I believe that Kareem really does want to keep the all-time scoring record. I really do believe that, and Kareem doesn't believe that LeBron is better than him, and he probably doesn't even believe that LeBron is better than Michael Jordan. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this black and white sports fans? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar called the bit balls dance by LeBron James childish and said that goats do not dance. Well, you know what? I don't have a problem with uh, LeBron dancing. You know why? Because he is not the goat that belongs to Michael Jordan. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to black and white sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.